for the, for the welcome. My name is Vendela and I'm the International Relations Officer at the Faculty of Pharmacy uh, at Masaryk University. And today I'm going to tell you some important information about our uh, faculty, about the university, our students, and the possibilities for, for your applicants, students, and for you. Masaryk University, which I'll be talking about today, uh, is our university uh, in Brno, in the Czech Republic. Uh, just to give you an idea, some of you may know, some of you may not, because Czech Republic is quite small, uh, but it's situated in the very heart of Europe. I think Czech Republic has a very good um, position within Europe because from here it's it's close to everywhere. So our students are very happy that uh, in their free time they can travel and, and it's really close. You can get to the Vienna International Airport in hours, so it's very, very convenient. Uh, just a little bit about Czech Republic in general. Uh, we have the population is about 10 million. Uh, as I said, we are located in the Central Europe. There's very rich history, um, very friendly cost of living, which is very convenient for students. And also one of the benefits and what a lot of our students actually say is one of the assets of Brno uh, or Czech Republic in general, it's very safe, you know, so they feel very safe. It's uh, the eighth, sa eighth safest country in the world. So, um, yeah, that, that, that's a very good thing when you go alone, you know, abroad to study, to feel safe. Um, you can, Brno is very, uh, Czech Republic is very known for um, Gregor Mendel. He was the father of genetics, you might you might know. Uh, the contact lenses were invented in here and many, many other interesting uh, things that you might know. Um, specifically, uh, to Masaryk University, uh, we are very student-oriented university. We are quite big, we have, uh, we center our, our studies towards the students and, and we are very uh, student friendly oriented. Um, we have 10 faculties with more than 200 departments and um, about 21% of, of our students are international students. Uh, on one side, it's the degree students who come to study their full degree with us. And also it's um, mobility students like Erasmus students and students who come here for their exchange for a semester or two. So there's actually a quite a big uh, international community of students and uh, it benefits not only the students, but also us as we have a very international uh, environment at our university. Uh, as I said, we have about 30,000 students at Masaryk University. Uh, and just, just to give you an idea, we are quite an old university. Uh, it was founded in 1919. Three years ago, we celebrated the centennial of Masaryk University. Um, what you can see in this picture is our uh, Masaryk University campus, which is very modern uh, and high tech. Uh, we are actually uh, not yet, our pharmacy uh, faculty is not yet uh, situated in the campus, but I will uh, get to that in, in just a little bit. So in this campus, you can see a uh, faculty of medicine, faculty of science and sports studies. Um, as I said, we are a very uh, student-friendly uh, university. Uh, we have very individual and personal approach to students. Uh, a lot of our students find work very easily, not just as graduates, but also they, they uh, very often uh, look for a part-time job um, in between or during their studies. Um, we also have a department called Teresias, which is a, a department supporting a student with any kind of special needs, which is really great. And we are really proud of this. Um, there is a strong emphasis on research. We have a uh, SATEC Institute uh, and a lot of our students, not just PhD students, but also master students are participating in research. And we are also cooperating with uh, corporate partners, uh, especially at the Faculty of Pharmacy, uh, we have a lot of partners, not just pharmacies, but pharmaceutical companies, which do um, offer not only workshops and practical seminars for students during their studies, but also provides um, an internship for them because part of our pharmacy studies is a compulsory six month internship. And so a lot of students um, benefit from this cooperation with our, with our corporate partners. 
And we are also proud to have the American Federal Student Aid Accreditation, which means that the students from USA can actually uh, apply for a federal loan to come study at Mount State University. Um, we have very uh, you know, high-tech equipment, state-of-the-art equipment at our faculties and all of our inst research institutes. Uh, as I said, there is a big part, uh, part of international students in our student community, uh, something around 300 and uh, 3,500 students uh, came for exchange before COVID happened. Of course, then the numbers were a little bit lower, but we are getting, getting back there. Um, we have an Erasmus student network, which supports uh, international students in Brno, uh, not just Erasmus students, but all the uh, incoming international students. So uh, the students can, can you know, apply for a student body, uh, which is uh, under the Erasmus student network. So that's pretty great supporting services for students. Uh, we have a language center, uh, Center for International Cooperation. Um, the students uh, are, of course, uh, welcome to apply for accommodation at our dormitories, and yeah, we have a lot of lot of uh, services supporting our students. Uh, we are the members of the Edu Alliance, which is alliance of uh, eight uh, European universities, and it offers students a lot of mobility programs as well as um, some opportunities to study uh, online at some of these partner universities. So it's it's a very good uh, benefit for our students as well. And uh, our students uh, who come to study at the degree program have very extensive possibilities to go abroad during their studies with a scholarship, whether it's Erasmus program or a partner universities and many other mobility programs. So we are very pr proud of this. Uh, as for the city of Brno, as I said, it's the second biggest city in the Czech Republic after Prague. It's the, it was voted the sixth most popular student city. Uh, we have about 350,000 uh, inhabitants in Brno, and around 60,000 of them are students. So you can see that Brno is really a student city because there is uh, uh, several universities apart from Masaryk University. So really, when we say that Brno is a student city, it really is true because you can see that uh, mm -hmm. almost of, of, of our population are students. So it's very lively, young. Um, student city. I can imagine the nightlife. Yeah, it's really good. And you know, it's not that big. It's not that uh, in Prague. It's of course, you know, it's it's a, a cosmopolitan city. But Brno is is just the perfect size, and and all the festivals and all the happenings here. It's it's really great. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah, we are famous for coffee culture and gastro industry and uh, architecture, music. Yeah, really, Brno is such a lively city, uh, perfect for studies. Uh, yeah, here you can see a picture from just a um, summer evening. You know, Brno is famous for its beer and wine because we are a wine country. So, um, yeah, a lot of um, student activities, festivals and meetings. And yeah, Brno is just great to hang out at. Uh, okay, and here you can see a study programs that our university offers in English. Uh, actually, eight of ten of our faculties offer full time degree programs, and all of the all of the ten faculties offer uh, Erasmus programs. So there is actually international community at all of the faculties, but eight of them offer uh, full degree programs. You can see a faculty of medicine, arts, education, and economics and administration. Uh, informatics, Faculty of Science and Social Studies. And of course, what I want to highlight here today is the Faculty of Pharmacy. Uh, we are actually the smallest of, uh, of the 10 faculties, uh, which um, might not seem so great, but I think it's a, it's a great benefit to our students because since we don't have that many students, we are really able to be very, um, we have a very individual approach to our students. It can be very personal. There are small study groups and labs. And in this in this field, you know, it can be a big, big asset because yeah, yeah I will mention it later. So, so this is uh, on this picture, you can see the faculty of pharmacy, our building. Um, <laughs> our history is a little bit complicated. Uh, so just uh, very shortly, 
Um, we were founded uh, in the 50s under Masaryk University, but then because of some historical changes and political situation, the faculty was moved to Slovakia because we were Czechoslovakia then. And it only returned to Brno in uh, the 90s. And it actually returned under the Veterinary University of Brno. So uh, right now, at the moment, we are our campus is located in the campus of the Veterinary University, even though we joined Masaryk University in 2020. So we basically returned under Masaryk University as it used to be. But at the moment, we are still located at the Veterinary University campus. And we are just... Um, dealing with the logistics, but Masaryk University is building a brand new building for us at the uh, at their campus, as you could see at the beginning, the picture of the campus, where we'll be closely cooperating with the Faculty of Medicine and Faculty of Science. The project is called uh, Biopharma Hub, and we have very big hopes and expectations for it because um, it, it, will, it will be great. And so we'll be moving in about two or three years uh, time. As I said, our faculty, which is sometimes, uh, you know, we, we call it Munich Farm because it's the Faculty of Pharmacy at Masaryk University. Uh, we have uh, about 700 students. As I said, we are the smallest faculty and uh, we have six departments, Department of Natural Drugs, Chemical Drugs, Molecular Pharmacy, uh, Pharmacology and Toxicology, and Pharmaceutical Technology, and uh, the Department of Applied Pharmacy. So you can see that our students can, uh, they have various, um, you know, selection of courses from all of these departments. And so they can study um, every aspect of pharmacy um, during, their, during their studies. Uh, and finally, uh, the programs that we offer, uh, primarily uh, it's the master's degree program pharmacy. It's a five year long cycle program, um, which means that students who are graduating from secondary school, from high school can apply to this program straight away. There's no need to have a bachelor's degree uh, because uh, in the Czech Republic to be a pharmacist, you have to have the master's degree. And so there is no bachelor's degree and then a follow-up master's it's just five year long cycle pharmacy program um also after our students graduate from this master program they can apply uh, to get their advanced uh, masters uh which the title of farm doctor doctor of pharmacy uh which only takes uh one additional year and then uh, they can, of course, continue to PhD programs. We have many PhD programs in Czech, but we have three in English, which is pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical technology, sorry, pharmacognosy and medicinal chemistry. And also, which you're very excited about, we are preparing a bachelor's program, our first bachelor's program, cosmetology. Which is a very attractive, uh, very attractive study field, and right now we are uh, in the middle of an accredi accreditation process. So we hope to to open the program in about a year or two. Uh, what you need to know about our study program pharmacy is compliant with the EU directive, so it's uh, fully recognized within. Uh, all of the EU uh, member countries and actually in most of the countries in the world. Uh, our curriculum covers, as I said, all of the knowledge uh, and skills of the, of the pharmacist profession. Uh, the student learned to uh, what it takes to prepare and pr pr produce the drugs. Uh, they learn about pharmacology, pharmacology and pharmacotherapy. Uh, they learn all about the legal, economic and ethical principles um, of what it means to be a pharmacist and uh, disposal of the biologically active substances. As I mentioned before, uh, part of our studies of the master's program is a six month pharmacy internship, uh, which our students, uh, they can carry it out at one of our partner, um, you know, pharmaceutical companies or pharmacies, or they, they can find their own, it's, it's up to them. They can also uh, spend part of this internship abroad because uh, within the Erasmus program, there is a great uh, internship program. So the students can go abroad and uh, do part of the internship abroad and get a scholarship uh, Erasmus grant. So it's, it's really, really good. They get to know all different aspects of the profession in different countries which is really, really beneficial to them in their future careers. Yes, 
Yes, and intern like offering students internship is a, a, a very big plus because you know as we know students when they mm, they are still 19 20 and they are trying to find internship elsewhere it might be a difficult but like offering internship from the school is it's wonderful i must say and not only during studies uh thanks to the erasmus program our students can go for uh internship after graduation and it is still uh you know financially covered from the erasmus program wow. which is really wonderful yeah yeah okay and to to finish their studies and get the master's degree uh, they are required to complete 300 uh, ECDS credits and um, take the final state exam and defend their diploma thesis which they are writing um, during their last two years of studies uh, what's important uh, is um, to tell you about admission requirements for this master's program uh it's very easy students create our e-application in our system uh, the applications are open every year within the same period of time they opened just recently on first december and they will be open all the way throughout the at the end of august uh but for the non-eu students we very highly recommend to apply before the end of may because as you know the visa process application can be very uh, lengthy and demanding and so um yeah we will not reject any applications but we um we tell the students that we really really uh, recommend to apply before the end of may to get them the highest chances of you know obtaining the visa and coming uh, to begin their studies in time our intake is only once a year at the beginning of the academic year, which means in September. Uh, and for the e-application, the student just uh, pay a small application fee of about 30 euros. Uh, apart from the application, the student has to submit a diploma or certificate of successfully completed secondary education. As I said, uh, the high school graduates can apply to our master's program right away. And of course, they have to pass the entrance exam. Uh, what's very convenient that the exam is online. It's great. The students don't have to travel anywhere, you know, spend any money. They just uh, they choose a date which is most convenient to them. There are at least two dates each month and they just take the exam at home, which, which is I feel is a big advantage. Um, the exam is cons uh, it consists of two tests, biology and chemistry and the passing score is 50% 50% overall and so you know if one of these is in your strong suit you can always um you know get a little bit better score in the other and um the 50% overall score is just i don't think it's very difficult to obtain for students to better prepare for the exam uh, they can find topics and some sample questions on our website uh and also we offer online preparatory courses for biology and chemistry uh, they are great. They are interactive. It's a video lesson of our of our teachers, uh, so the students do not only get uh, knowledge uh, they need for the entrance exam, but they also get a very good foundation for their first year of studies, and also they get to know their future teachers in the process. So it's yeah, we are very uh, very proud of this uh, these courses. Uh, then the, after the student is admitted, um, uh, they can if if they need the visa, they can start a visa process. And in uh, in in the autumn, in uh, before the beginning of the academic year, uh, they are enrolled to studies. Uh, next year enrollment uh, will be happening in the first uh, half of September. There will be orientation week for international students, which is uh, such a great event. It's um, it's uh, held by our Center for International Cooperation. And so uh, together with the degree students, there are also Erasmus students and uh, any other exchange students coming to study Masaryk University. There is a sort of very uh, broad sort of activities for students to get to know each other, get to know Brno, uh, you know, um, it's it's really great, it's really great. So we really, it's it's not compulsory, but, very, very highly recommend our students to take part in the orientation week at the beginning of the academic year. As I said, we have the Erasmus Student Network and they take part in, in this in this orientation week and they offer a buddy program, which, which can be very great because 
you know, new city, new country, new university can get a little tricky and uh, overwhelming, but with this program, um, it, it helps the students a lot. And of course, as I said, we offer accommodation at our university dormitories. Um, next year, the teaching uh, will begin on the 18th of September. So by that date, we need the student to be here physically to begin their studies. Uh, there's a possibility for course and credit recognition if the students are transferring from a different university. Um, we do not do transfers as such, meaning if, for example, the student begins to study somewhere else at a different university and studies two years and then transfers and it's not like they would go to a third year. All the students begin in the first semester, first year, but they are um, there is the possibility to apply for course recognition. And so they, if they uh, have some credits and courses recognized, they don't uh, need to study the full five years, but they they begin from the from the first semester formally. I would say. Uh, as for the tuition fee, which is also always an important question, uh, our tuition fee for the pharmacy program is 7,000 euros a year, uh, but the students don't need to pay anything in advance uh, and they can uh, choose to pay in one, two or four installments according to their uh, you know, needs at the time. So I think it's very reasonable and so uh, if they are for some reason not able to pay the tuition fee for the whole academic year, they can pay um, for each semester separately or twice in semester. So they can pay uh, four, four times the 1,750 euros a year. So four times a year, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's very good for them to have this option. Um, as for our scholarships, um, there is no scholarship uh, which would cover the whole tuition fee, unfortunately, at our university or at, the, at this program. Uh, but there is there are some little scholarships which which may help with the living expenses. There's the accommodation rent. It's it's not very high, but I think it's about one month rent, and it, it's it's paid once a semester, and it's guaranteed to every student who is who is studying there. First university studies, and they are not uh, their permanent address is not in Brno. So all of our international students coming here get this uh, scholarship once a semester. Uh, then there's the merit scholarship for you know student with uh, with excellent um, study results, and as I said, mobility scholarships, the Erasmus grant, are, and many other programs that we offer, uh, which you know, allow students to go go abroad and, and study without tuition fee at some, one of the many partner universities, not just across Europe, but in, in the world that we have. Uh, and then there's the possibility to apply for a scholarship for um, students from developing countries. It's a one-off scholarship. It's to help with the first year um, kind of expenses. It's about 4,000 euros. And um, it's uh, the developing countries, it's assessed according to a uh, OECD uh, list. And um, yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, it's not guaranteed to every student who apply. It's, it's supposed to um, you know, go to the British students who are very motivated and have excellent study results. Uh, but it's, I think it's, it's, it can help with the, with the first year for sure. Okay, and here are some um, points which I would say uh, might draw your students to study pharmacy at our university. Uh, our graduates uh, have 100% employment, uh, which is great. And, you know, if you study pharmacy, you can, of course, become a pharmacist, work in a pharmacy or own a pharmacy, uh, which is um, in most cases true for our students. But your education is very broad, so you can also uh, work in a hospital, you can work in a, uh, in a lab. Uh, either you know in hospitals or in some private labs. You can work in a pharmaceutical company. You can work in research in some governmental agencies. So um, yeah, there is a very broad scope of what our students are able to do with their degree after they uh, graduate the, the, the master's program. Uh, yeah, so that's the multiple career multiple career options. As I said, um, as I talked about, they have really really excellent um, opportunities to study abroad during their studies, uh, thanks to our mobility programs. 
um, there is more than 50, more than 15% of the classes at our faculty are practical classes. So it's seminars and labs. And, and as I said, there are small groups of students. So uh, they really have the opportunity to, uh, to learn from the teachers and have a hands-on approach. And it's, yeah, it's really, it's really beneficial to our students. Uh, also, because we uh, we have 10 faculties, our students can uh, select courses from any other of the faculties according to their interests. So, of course, you have the core curriculum, which you need to pass uh, in order to get uh, the degree. But uh, in the meantime, you can um, you can take courses from uh, faculty of sports you know, to, to some physical exercise during your studies. You can take some classes from the faculty of law, faculty of social studies. It's it's up to you what, what your um, schedule will look like. So that that's really great. Um, as I said, Brno is a very friendly student city. And also a big selling point for our students is that, as I mentioned, Czech Republic is one of the safest countries in the world. So yeah, just a few of the uh, assets of uh, studying at Masaryk University, I'd say. Okay, uh, here are just some um, links to uh, our websites and social media. You can, of course, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, your standard uh, accounts. Uh, you can also contact us. Uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions. The primary contact email is admission at farm.muni.cz. And um, yeah, maybe I can show you our website um, where you can see all the yes all the important information. Yeah, so here's a new website, Masaryk University Faculty of Pharmacy. Uh, in here, you can see um, the admission information. Uh, if you click on our programs in English, you can see, as I said, a master's study program, advanced master's procedure, and the RPHD studies. And if you click on the master's program, uh, you can see all the information that I told you about, tuition fee, um, application deadlines, all of the information about the program, here are admission requirements, um, you know, everything you need to do basically step by step to, uh, to be able to get to the point of applying. As I said, you can see some sample questions here for the, um, for the entrance exam. And here is information about the courses, enrollment, credit transfer, information about the scholarships, orientation week, just all your basic information that you might need. And of course, um, direct link for the application um, for, the, for the program. Yeah, so this is it. In here, you basically create an application um, and that's it. Wow. Uh, uh, also, as I mentioned, uh, the, the, or there is the second link mentioned. It's called the website is called study at .cz. and in here you can you can basically see uh, all of our programs that we offer, all of our faculties. You can see the different study levels, uh, your fields. Uh, yeah, so if we choose pharmacy, um, you can see our pharmacy program, and uh, again, all the information is here. And, yeah, you can see our student ambassador, uh, uh, which is Martina at the moment. You can contact her if you have, or more, more of your students can contact her and get the student perspective, you know, and ask them some questions that I might not know because I, I haven't applied for the program. Uh, as you can see, Martina is uh, from the Czech Republic, but she actually has a double, uh, or she has two citizenships. So she uh, grew up in the UK. So uh, it's, it's a big asset to our students because she does not only understand the perspective for students coming from abroad and, and applying and all of these bureaucracies, but she also knows a lot about Czech Republic and, and living in here. So yeah, she's, she's just the biggest help to our students. And if you have any questions, you can contact her and, and ask. Wow, thank you. Okay. Okay. I think that's about it for me. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's wonderful. Yeah, of <laughs> course, if you have any question, I'll be happy to, to answer them. Uh, could Oops, you I... please tell more about the scholarship part? Mm -hmm. So maybe they are very, very interested in the scholarship part, especially here. We have the audience in many uh, developing countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe I can show you um, if I share the screen. Um... 
of the website. Can you see the website? Yes. Okay, good. Um, so in here, if we look for the scholarship for students from developing countries, uh, there's also a link to our university's website because uh, this scholarship is um, awarded by our university, not the faculty, but the university. And you will see all the conditions uh, that are, you know, the participation conditions. Um, uh, it's awarded to students in bachelor's and master's programs. Uh, and as I said, it's uh, based on the OECD list of countries. Um, I think because last year we had we really had a lot of applications for the scholarship and there is um, a limited amount uh, or number of the scholarship that we can award each year. And so I think uh, the information we got for next year, uh, it will no longer be uh, available to apply for students from the upper middle income countries. So we really want to focus uh, at the lower income countries so uh, the students from these three uh, categories can apply uh, for the scholarship uh, for next year, for next academic year. Uh, the deadline for this scholarship, uh, for application for the scholarship is yeah, the end of April. Yeah. So uh, to apply for the next academic year uh, for our new incoming students, uh, they have to apply by the end of April. Uh, again, it's very simple. They create uh, an online application. Every info, all the information that they might need is here. Uh, you will need to uh, enclose a motivation letter, cover letter, transcript of records, because as I say, we have a lot of applications for the scholarship. So we really need to, uh, or we want to, you know, award the, the most motivated and, and, and excellent students. Yes. So um, yeah, all, all the information is here. Um, anytime you, you you just look up Masaryk University, uh, it's uh, all information is there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, and the next one is about like English requirement. So do you need any any specific like requirement that English test? Um. Yeah, I I didn't mention any language requirements because for our faculty we don't have any. Uh, other faculties the requirements may be may be different, but in our faculty uh, we don't really require any certificates. Uh, we leave it up to the students, uh, you know, to assess whether they are able to study in English. Uh, so, yeah, no no language requirements on our part. Thank you so much. And the last one in our Q and A is not a question; it's a compliment. It's from uh, Wajid Ali. He said it's amazing and love the way that Mars Masaryk University works. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming to our webinar today. My pleasure. Hope to see you soon.